Well, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for your visits and uh, if you're just passing through, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for anything motorcycle related. Anyway, yeah, short little video today, just discussing about the daily rider. Whether or not this can be used as an all, you know, a daily rider, maybe a commuter bike, getting you to and from work every day. You know, just my opinion really. Not a lot of traffic on the road today, obviously we're still in lockdown. I'm just nipping out to get some bits. Nipping out to get some bits, so I thought love, uh, weather's quite nice actually today, so quite a nice opportunity just to nip out to Tesco's. Other super stores are available. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I don't think you can go too far wrong with this. Um, the 2020 Street Triple RS 765. Um, you're in a lovely riding position here as well, so you're sitting nice and upright on the bike. Visibility is very good, very good. Nice and comfortable. I say I'm five foot, five foot seven, and I'm touching the, touching the, you know, the floor flat footed on this, so can't grumble, can't grumble at all. I'm wondering if we could just squeeze through here and. <coughs> and straight to the front of the queue pretty much can't go too far forward or I can't see the lights <laughs> yeah like I say lovely day today sun's out so what a golden opportunity to uh, just test this bike out in the town Getting some funny looks there, but there's plenty of room, plenty of room there. No issues whatsoever for the cars to come past. I just think a lot of the time that, that you know, a lot of drivers don't like the fact that you're uh, jumping the queue. <laughs> These lights certainly seem to be taking a while. But yeah, anyway, the 765 Street Triple RS. Quite a pokey little machine, quite a pokey little machine this. You know, you can ride it around town, you can use the clutch if you don't want to use the auto blipper and the quick shifter. You know, because obviously that works better with the revs up uh, uh, a lot high, you know. Yeah, it's an all-round comfortable bike, this. Nice and comfortable, not too hard on the old Jaxi. <laughs> nice and nippy away from the lights. So, you, you, you know, we all love taking it out around the twisties and spanking the old uh, bikes, but, you know, in the real world, if, you are, if, if this is your commuter bike, I mean, luckily I don't have to commute on this to work, but, you know, if it is your... You know, you could actually use this as an everyday commuter bike. Brakes are very good. What's the fuel situation like? No, not too bad there. Other thing, this is fairly good on fuel fairly good on fuel you're not, not going to be forever filling this thing up obviously it depends on how you ride it but just riding around leisurely like this it's not a problem whatsoever no problems I mind the old pedestrians walking out like that one there <laughs> yeah it's not a heavy bike this so <clears throat> you know you don't notice any any um, Issues with the weight, weight on this bike. Very easy to ride. Very easy to ride. Don't know if I'm quite going to squeeze through there though. Clutch is nice and light as well. We've got a heavy clutch. A lot of bikes, you know, the, the clutches can be a bit heavy. No issues with the clutch for this uh, round town commuting. Oh, the shit coming out of there. 
Christ. It's a downside with motorcycles. You end up breathing all that shite in. Not good for the lungs. Don't really particularly want to be following that either. Jesus. Not very green, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be long until lockdown eases. I think we've got the green light. I think you can actually go out and meet meet up with, with your mates and go for a little ride out uh, very shortly, which will be very good. That's something I've missed. It'll be very nice to get out and have a ride with your mates and hopefully be able to stop off somewhere and have a brew. So we're very restricted at the moment on what we can and what we cannot do. You know, if I'm out and about, it's generally just for central shopping. Why would you want to bring your car on a nice day like this? Anything is, you're a bit limited what you can put in your rucksack. <laughs> as long as I've got my milk and my tea bags, that's all I care about. <laughs> no problems. Oh, there we go. That'll do here. Nice and easy to find neutral on this. Nice and comfortable bike. Well, I've got my milk and my tea bag, so I'm happy. <laughs> Let's head back out. Uh, amongst the traffic oh I will mention I've had the service done on this I've had the, the first service so that's all done it's always quite nice to get the first service out of the way and I believe the next service is at about 6,000 6,000 which is quite a way off I think it's going to be a while before I clock that up It's nice to see things slowly opening again. A bit of normality. I don't think that's too far away, so looking forward to that. Being able to go out and have a pint with your mates. It'll be good. Because we've not had that for, well, it's been a while now, hasn't it? It's been a while. Yeah, not bad at low speed, this bike either. Not bad at low speed. Oh, the old Robin Belay, and you don't see them very often. <laughs> They're giving it large. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> he really was giving it large. <laughs> No problems. Yeah, it's a very relaxed riding position on this bike. Very relaxed, very comfortable. Like I say, you're sitting up, sitting nice and upright, so you can go, you've got good visibility ahead. Not like on a sports bike where you're, you're tucked over, you know, and you've got all the weight on the wrists. Visibility through the mirrors is very good. Very good, yeah. This would make a perfect daily, daily rider, daily commuter. No issues at all. No issues at all there. And then you could uh, take it out on the twisties, spank the Triumph at the weekends. No issues, no issues at all. <laughs> and believe me, certainly get uh, great fun doing that. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, feel free. There's plenty of videos on the on the channel of uh, yeah the Triumph being spanked. <laughs> Which really is all part of the fun, of the ownership, you know. For all very well commuting about here and there, but yeah, all that's the fun, doesn't it? Ring the neck of the Triumph. And actually, I can do a bit more of that now. It's been, well, we're not, we're not quite running yet, but the first service is done. It's always a good, always a good stage of the bike ownership from new. Let's get that first service done. Great customer care from uh, Triumph again, as usual. Much appreciated. Yeah, 
Yeah. Like I say, see, hopefully I can get out, get out on some new uh, new test ride, new boat test rides shortly. Be nice. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got any uh, preferences of what you'd like to see me test ride in the future. It'd be much appreciated. Or any comments on anything else? Bike related or anything. <laughs> so I'll try and get back to you all as best I can. Ever so smooth, ever so smooth. So yeah, my overall sort of opinion, you know, to use this as a daily rider, this would make a perfect daily rider. You know, if you didn't want something so, you know, if you're a new, new, newcomer to the bike scene, you may want to look at something like the Trident, the Triumph Trident. Again, I've got a review on that as well on the channel. Feel free to watch that. And that 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 would make an all, you know, uh, an all good all rounder, good commuter. But yeah, if you're new to the channel and you're just passing by, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, you'll be notified of anything uh, or all, all my new uploads which hopefully should be uh, coming fairly thick and fast when we're allowed but yeah you can get heated gloves, plug them in well they got, I think they got the, the battery packs, rechargeable battery packs Might have to treat myself to a pair. Sort of pretty much okay at the moment now. The the summer's well, springtime anyway. So summer's on the way. Clocks have gone forward, so you know at that point there that things are certainly starting to look up. Yeah, this bike does also have a, a USB connector point under the seat. So if you wanted to connect any of your utilities up to it or charge a phone you've got that option because not all bikes have that my Suzuki Thousand certainly hasn't got it unless I haven't found it yet <laughs> it could be tucked away somewhere out of the way <laughs> yeah one of the things I love about this bike is the, the sound of the engine the triple absolutely gorgeous sound when you start ringing this on it's a lot to be said a lot to be said for that Looks good. Looks good in the reflection there. You've got that quality of build as well with the Triumph. Like I say, first service is done. Next one's at 6,000. Which is pretty standard really for most bikes. Is six or 8,000 on the second service. Unless you're looking at the Trident. The Trident I believe is 10,000. Which is quite unbelievable really. No problem. Lots of roadworks. Yeah, it's not a big service anyway, the first one. I believe it's just the filter. Oil and filter. They'll probably check all your fastenings and um, your levels. It's not an expensive one at all. But yeah, low speed on this bike. I was chucking up loads of shite that bus. Low speed on this bike is effortless. Let's get out of the way of that bus. Effortless it is. Oh, you've got loads of room there. God dear. Hello, sir. I've also done a test of the lights, the LED lights as well on this. Now, like I say, there's another video on the channel there. If you wanted to watch that, feel free. But I was quite surprised, really, you know, how well they perform. And also the, you know, the dash, the night display of the dash. The TFT. Very effective. Well, anyway, thanks for joining. Just a brief video on... Um, really just a little commute on the Triumph and my opinion on um, the ease of its use you know and rider experience so thanks for watching and uh, 
hopefully see you on the next video take care and if you go out ride safe see ya